Welcome back. Welcome back. You man, Diamond K in here, of course. Uh, the Diamond K Show on fire-tv.com. Uh, on all social media, I am at the Diamond K Show. Uh, Super Bowl is in the bag. Uh, we have uh, a winner. And I, I wasn't surprised. Uh, I wanted the 49ers to win. Uh, but I felt that Patrick Mahomes and uh, uh, Kansas City would just be too much for uh, the very stacked 49ers team to overcome. Just too much. Uh, and that is exactly, exactly what happened. Uh, once again, Kansas City Chiefs are Super Bowl champions back to back man back to back and you know it's uh there's there gonna be a lot of folks that are gonna say this and they're gonna say that uh was the uh quarterback uh as in Brock Purdy but was he up to the task uh did he do his thing um and the play calling. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of these things. Um, I thought that all in all, the presentation, the spectacle that is the Super Bowl, the pomp and circumstance, and the uh, the legacy, all of that, the entertainment factor. Factor. I've talked about uh, the entertainment side of sports, and. Uh, we definitely saw that on full display. Um, I was really immersed in uh, the pregame celebration. Uh, there was a lot going on, a lot of discussion. Um, Usher's halftime performance was amazing. We're going to talk about that. Uh, it was a great game. I, I thought it was a really, really good game. Um it was uh, a lot of uh, takeaways. There are a lot of things that we can um, surmise from that. Um, it was uh, it was a very intriguing game, very very intriguing game. Uh, but at the end of the day, we saw Kansas City continue uh, to dominate uh, the landscape. Now. The Chiefs dynasty, that's where we are. The uh, Kansas City Chiefs are in the midst of a dynasty. Back-to-back uh, -back Super Bowls, Patrick Mahomes uh, already going to go down as uh, one of the greats. Um, now, uh, the, 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 the calls during the Chiefs 49ers game uh, officiating crew uh, they need to be investigated I mean it is whether we're talking about Super Bowl whether we're talking about just in general uh, they really need to be investigated um, I, I think that we need consistent officiating is, is that too much consistent officiating so uh, I was playing a game of pool during a lot of the pregame uh, stuff and um, uh, doing my thing, dominating. Um, and, uh, you know, so, so, so the game is setting up. They're starting to have uh, some of the, you know, pomp and circumstance type stuff. We got to hear the Black National Anthem sung before the Super Bowl. That was a good, uh, a good look. Um, and uh, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. It was, it was a very soulful rendition. And, um, you know, some, of course, some uh, uh, racists not happy with that. Uh, the uh, NFL's overtime rules, the overtime rules um, left a lot of players confused on both teams. Very, very interesting. So we, we have Kansas City winning the game, but you even had folks on their team confused 
as to what the rules were um, as far as overtime. Very interesting. Very, very interesting uh, indeed. So, of course, we can't talk about Super Bowl uh, 58 without talking about Taylor Swift. Well, a superstar flew over 5,000 miles from Tokyo to Las Vegas to witness the dramatic late Chiefs win. Dramatic. It was a dramatic win. No, no doubt about that. Um, but what is the fascination with Taylor Swift? What is the fascination? I, I, she was, she was, um, she was getting her drink on. I'll say that. <laughs> she, she was definitely getting getting her uh, uh, a drink on. Um, there were a lot of. Uh, Big big time folks, uh, superstars, supposedly supposed superstars in attendance. Uh, but as I said, the NFL puts on uh, a great show. NFL puts on a great show. Uh, so when you when you talk about the spectacle and and all of that stuff, uh, NFL once again uh, showing why folks tune in for four plus hours. They want to see the commercials, the commercials, which uh, surprisingly, ironically, uh, I'll I'll say surprisingly, um, seven million dollars, seven million dollars. Whoa. Whoa. Would you spend seven million dollars on a Super Bowl ad? Wow. I don't know about that. Uh, I don't know about that. Now. Chiefs, 49ers. Chief players, the rest of the NFL world, um, the sports world, trying to react to the 49ers' decision to receive the ball first after winning the coin toss beyond me. People talk about uh, Shanahan as a genius and all that kind of stuff. He played in the Super Bowl, uh, which there was overtime. Um, so I don't know why the, uh, uh, the decision, uh, to receive the, uh, the kick was, was done by uh, Kyle Shanahan. Um, you know, whenever you start talking about the analytics, analytics, this analytics, that whenever you talk about the analytics, I think you are losing the 49ers. Uh, tested the clutchness, tried to test test the clutchness uh, of uh, Patrick Mahomes. Big mistake. Big mistake. Uh, and this came this this decision came back to bite them in the butt. Gut wrenching loss yesterday. 49ers decided to receive the ball after winning the overtime coin toss. Um, the uh, general NFL world, um, and uh, uh, you know, I guess players on the other team, just like <laughs> confused. I'm sure that they, the Chiefs were confused but happy. And um, at the end of the day, Kyle Shanahan told our reporters after the loss that he didn't regret the decision. Bull crap. Bull crap. The reasoning mind boggling. So many players on, on the 49ers didn't know the rules of overtime. You're playing at a at the highest level, and you don't even know the rules. They had a 10-point lead and, and still end up losing the game. Uh the 49ers. Uh Brock Purdy for his uh effort has nothing to be ashamed of. Nothing to be ashamed of. Did his thing. Played a very good game. He took took ownership of uh, the 49ers loss, uh, but it was not all on him. I thought that he did, you know, did pretty good. Did pretty good. Uh, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, the Kansas City Chiefs dynasty 
is here. It is upon us. Um, you know, uh, Patrick Mahomes is going to go down as one of the greats, one of the all-time greats. Uh, I don't see anything uh, slowing uh, this gentleman down. He is focused. He is about his business. He can't pin him down. He's never, he does not quit. He does not quit. Uh, and, uh, you know, he is, he's focused. He's accurate. And the Kansas City Chiefs, once again, uh, Patrick Mahomes, I mean, just some improbable completions, some crazy throws. He's hard to, to pin down. He is slick. He is slippery. It was a thrilling game. Thrilling game. Patrick Mahomes does it again, leading the Chiefs to an overtime win. So what's next? Mahomes says that a three-peat would be legendary. He is right. Uh, and so is the three-peat where they are trying to go? Uh, according to some polls, 20% of the viewers said that they were rooting for the Kansas City Chiefs because of Taylor Swift. Interesting. This time next year, Taylor Swift and, and Travis Kelsey may not even be together. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Um, camera, they had, as I said, they had a camera person on Taylor Swift pretty much at all times. Because that's just, that's just how they roll. <laughs> That's 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 just how they roll. Uh, but you know, it's the spectacle, right? It's the spectacle. It was uh an entertaining uh event, and uh and that's what we got. We got entertainment, uh entertainment galore. So speaking of entertainment, we had Usher with the halftime show. I thought Usher did his thing. I I thought Usher did his thing. He is he's just he's just one of those dudes. He's just one of those dudes. He's a veteran. He's been doing this since he was a kid, since he was a baby. And now look at him. Grown man in the game. Um and you know, he's been in Vegas. I thought that the inclusion of Usher made sense. Um, Alicia Keys on stage with him. We saw that. Now, of course, um, uh, is it Trey Songs that was Mister Mister uh, Steal Your Girl? Was that Trey Songs or was it R. Kelly? I think I think a couple of them have claimed that title, uh, but currently Usher has been vying for the title. Performing with Alicia Keys, the oh so sexy Alicia Keys, looking very good, very thick, very nice, very nice. Usher could not help but take some liberties here. Take, when, I, when I say take some liberties, uh, he definitely, he definitely got his uh, what do you call it? His feel on. He was hugging, he was loving, you know. <laughs> um. And needless to say, folks were, um, I don't know, trying to spark up some stuff. I think that a lot of times the internet, folks on the internet, just focus on the wrong stuff. But if I have to give you my thoughts on Usher's Super Bowl halftime performance. It's one of the best that I've seen. One of the best I've seen. If it's not the best, it's the next to the best. I think it's probably the best one that I've seen. Now, here's the thing. Everything was flowed just seamless. He's in Vegas. He's done 100-plus shows. He's got this show down pat and was able to compact it into a 15-minute segment. It was hype. It was lit. It was what we needed to see. It was it was what we needed to see. Uh, there were commercials, there were uh, announcements. Uh, it was a lot. It was a lot. 
Uh, but that performance that Usher put in, uh, and of course, you know, you don't get paid for that performance. Uh, but that performance is going to put a lot of money in Usher's pocket because it set him up lovely. He has a tour coming up, just dropped an album on Friday. Everybody in the music world is talking about Usher right now. Usher went viral for his hug with Alicia Keys during the halftime show. I, I'm sure that she expected Usher to do something. She probably didn't know what it was. There were, there were times where he was kind of like, you know, uh, uh, feeling up, feeling up the, uh, the cakes doing that. And uh, it was, uh, it was, a, it was a playful show. It was something that had the internet talking, had the internet talking. Usher is a veteran in this game. He is uh, independent. He's an independent artist. He's not signed to a, a major label. He's formed his own label with some partners. And I just think that he is in a prime position to make the money that he deserves. So if you think about it, this is a great pop comeback story. Billboard talking about... Um, the comeback half a decade of subtle gains in uh, career momentum for the singer he's definitely rode the wave he stayed dedicated he stayed focused and he is absolutely winning right now uh so i i'm, I'm very happy for him here's another thing that he did he represented Atlanta to the fullest represented uh, Atlanta to the fullest uh, I, I really really like the fact that he did not forget where he came from he did not at all forget where he came from talking about Usher uh, so there was there was a lot of uh, uh, hat tipping to the A but in addition to his performing 2005, so almost 20 years ago, Usher invested $9 million into the Cavaliers. Now, at the time, folks were saying, like, what, what is he doing, right? Invested this $9 million, which gave him a 1% ownership stake in the team, 1%. So you may say to yourself, what, what's, what's the big deal with the 1%? The team value Cavaliers in 2005, so almost 20 years ago, was $375 million. The team's value in 2024 is $3.2 billion. Oh, this was a big win for Ursher. Big win, uh, and, and that's just on the business side. So he's got this tour. He's added some additional dates for his Atlanta uh, leg. And it, it all is looking good. All is looking good for Usher right now. Uh, I have had a chance to skim through the album. Uh, I'm going to leave here. And uh, I have a meeting to go to. And I'm going to listen to a little bit more of the Usher album. I like to listen to new projects on the road I like to you know listen to him in the truck and stream that way so usher as i said adding two more concert dates after an epic super bowl show epic super bowl show yeah it was epic uh memorable for a lot of reasons we got a chance to see Ludacris, will i am Lil john jermaine dupree uh alicia keys uh and uh, marching band a, a host of talented uh, singers and dancers and skaters and it, it, it was a lot it, it was a lot that we saw uh, I really enjoyed the show uh, folks took it upon themselves to uh, poke fun at 
the hug, the way that Usher grabbed uh, Alicia Keys, uh, and, and Usher has uh, obtained a marriage license, and uh, it is rumored that him and his longtime girlfriend are going to be getting married. Uh, Alicia Keys is married, um, and they're performing, right? It's just like you have an actor or an actress performing. Uh, but this hug and the subsequent uh, memes and, and such, Swizz Beats had to actually react uh, to Usher's hugging uh, of his wife during the ha halftime show. Uh, Swizz Beats said that y'all talking about the wrong thing reacting uh to this viral moment during the halftime show um he said that uh y'all don't see the amazing dress uh, uh covering the entire stadium you know, the piano that alicia keys had tonight's performance was nothing but amazing nothing but amazing and, uh, you know, congrats to Usher and Alicia Keys. That song is a classic. We don't do negative vibes on this side. We make history. Um, so it was uh, it was interesting. He said, go see Giants at um, and then he has the, the museum. It opens uh, until July. Blessings. So uh, Swiss Beats taking the high road. Swiss Beats uh, doing uh, what they call the grown man thing. So shout out to him for not getting pulled into the foolishness. Shout out to Swiss Beats for not taking what they call commonly the bait. Shout out to him for that. Um, and uh, I definitely, I mean, he's an OG. So uh, he... You, you know, you, if you're going to try to do something, you want you want to try a little bit harder uh, to to uh, to get the man. Uh, speaking of uh, trying hard. That, uh, you know, we had had to see it. Uh, uh, Travis Kelsey has some kind of a, a mental breakdown where he was yelling at the coach. Not sure what that was about, uh, but uh, here he is with. Um, Taylor Swift, uh, and uh, just some other shots from the game. That's cute right there. Uh, just a lot. Trophy, Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City Chiefs uh, victorious. So uh, they're going to be celebrating in uh, Kansas City, Missouri, no doubt. Uh, Usher celebrating. And uh, the fans of the Chiefs, this is a happy day for them. And uh, uh, last thing, Beyonce's announcement of her new album surprised many. Uh, it is going to be a country album, Act Two. Well, I guess this is Renaissance Act 2, right? Coming in March. Uh, she had a commercial that kind of set this whole thing up. And uh, as I said, commercial is $7 million. Uh, but Beyonce, someone who is an icon in this, you can see her there. Uh, she is just, she's, she is the consummate professional consummate businesswoman uh and she knows how to feed her fans uh, uh so she gave him a tour she gave him the, the movie now she's coming back with a new album as i said will be country music she's from texas houston act two drops march the 29th very interesting. Are you excited about this new Beyonce album? Uh, it came out of nowhere, so I, nobody thought that she was going to be dropping this soon, right? Of course, you're going to say some fans are going to try to act like they already knew that it was coming. No, you didn't. No, you didn't, family. You did not know. Um, 
so uh, Beyonce also dropping a uh, a new song last night. I'm going to check that out as well. Somebody uh, online asking who's going to create the Beyonce line dance. And he said, don't throw algebra in it like the uh, Tamiya mess, uh, referencing the uh, line dance song to the Tamiya record, which a lot of people have trouble doing. It's kind of kind of difficult song. You know what I mean? Um, the memes for Super Bowl, of course, uh, were all over the place. Here's one that stood out to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the, uh, what is it? Love and Basketball uh, uh, remake kind of thing. Uh, folks just, you know, they, they go overboard with the uh, the online stuff. But again, we had a Super Bowl to remember. Super Bowl to remember. Uh, speaking of remembering, one uh, uh, fan viewer of uh, the Super Bowl talked about how during Usher's performance, there were Usher bucks falling from the sky. Right? Uh, Usher's performer. Usher is a performer. Right? Usher bucks falling from the sky. Uh, of course, let me know your thoughts. Uh, love to hear it uh, in the comment section. Of course, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, TikTok, threads at the Diamond K Show. I'm here weekdays, 6 p.m. Uh, anywhere you get your podcast, just search The Diamond K Show. Of course, uh, follow me on all social media. Uh, Instagram is probably my favorite, right? Instagram is probably my favorite. Uh, very easy for you to uh, follow us and everything that we have going on uh, at The Diamond K Show. So I post daily, multiple times a day. Uh, giving you the latest uh, news and updates. And of course, we talk about trending topics uh, here on uh, the program. Uh, we have a lot of other shows here. Uh, the No Filter podcast airs uh, live on uh, Mondays from 8 to 10. We also have Swap Radio, which airs live on Thursdays, uh, 7 p.m. And of course, uh, the Baltimore Lean Show. Uh, which airs Fridays live 8 to 10 p.m. Uh, the His and Hers show, which airs on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, uh, 7 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, of course, the Diamond K show uh, weekdays at 6 p.m. Uh, the Throwback Mix is uh, on Thursdays, 12 p.m. And uh, the On Fire Mix show, uh, Saturdays, 12 p.m. A lot of things going on here, of course, uh, on fire-tv. You need to get in touch with me. Very easy. DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. You want to advertise. Very easy for you to do that. Uh, head on over to uh, on fire-tv.com. Click advertise uh, or DM me on social media uh, so we can get started promoting your product, service, or business. Uh, as always, uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, YouTube.com slash DJ Diamond K. I will see you guys tomorrow.